the security class that comprises NAMPOL, NDF, Namibia Correctional Service and recruits, as well as the immigration officials who have been at the forefront of enforcing the regulations since the state of emergency was declared. Dealing with a virus which does not discriminate has the frontline workers caught between a rock and a hard place, that of maintaining order and choosing own health during this crucial time. A number of officers deployed in the COVID-19 hotspot regions of Thomas and Erongo have been infected in the line of duty. Figures released on the 17th of August indicate that Erongo region has so far recorded 107 confirmed cases among the officers, of which 78 are active and 29 people have recovered. Among the 78 cases, the NDF has the highest with 50 soldiers, followed by Namibia Correctional Service with nine, eight from Nampol, six from recruits, and five are immigration officers. In Thomas, figures availed so far indicate that eight police officers have tested positive. The security cluster top officials are worried about the possible impact of the rise in COVID-19 cases on law enforcement operations. A total of 144 officers are in quarantine in the two regions. On several occasions, the security cluster officials lamented the inadequate personal protective equipment in the forces. But just like civilians, the law enforcement officers are not exempted from taking personal responsibility for their own health. Our weapons in this fight are useless. AK-47, Makarov, Barretta, all those weapons are useless in this. But health protocol are the best weapon to defeat this, this uh, invisible coronavirus. One of the main things is uh, adherence to social distancing. As you see ourselves here, we are not from one house because only one people from one house who can stand or stand or sit close to each other. As you see ourselves here, anything happen, one of us is found positive tomorrow. All of us has to be quarantined. Lieutenant General Daytunga has instructed the two regional commanders, commissioners Joseph Shikongo and Andreas Nelumbu to compile detailed reports for assessment by government as the statistics could be more. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk, 